I do feel like it is easy to hide with black when you're trying to style an outfit. Kingdom. Kingdom. What's up everyone? It's your girl the account Alexandria Brooklyn and Kryptonite and I'm back on your screen design I'm back with another video. As we're gonna talk about today's title, we are doing how to build a streetwear look. Streetwear looks for the plus size baddies. Just basically, if you want to get some insight on how to like style something with that little pizzazz, that flair, that urban walk, especially from your favorite Brooklynite Kryptonite, <laughs> duh, then just keep watching because that's what we got to do today. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, here is my closet, here's my wardrobe. Y'all know that I am the queen of streetwear. Okay, I don't care what nobody say. I got that streetwear stuff on lock. Okay, so hence why we got hella graphic tees for our street wear look okay so the first thing that you're gonna need is graphic tees of course i got a lot of graphic tees and pretty much mad colors but of course your girl owns some black okay so my first step to you guys when picking a graphic tee is to pick something with a lot of of colors now it doesn't necessarily mean that the background of the graphic tee has to be like a black or plain color or colorful but it does mean that the graphic tee needs to have some type of color in it I'm just gonna show you guys a few but of the graphic tees that I have that have a lot of color pretty much things that you can work with right and not every graphic tee has to be at its best right so like this graphic tee right here is pretty old right it's pretty dingy but sometimes your dingy graphic tees really make for good pieces right so even like i'll go with this one right here so even like with this graphic tee here it's not a lot of color on it but it's just enough color that if i wanted to bring out said color i can do that right or one of my recent pickups actually is this purple graphic tee that i got from walmart but look at all the different colors on it right this one is a bit challenging because it doesn't really have any black and i do feel like it is easy to hide with black when you're trying to style an outfit to style anything it's easy to hide with black but when you have like purple as your base and then a multitude of colors in the middle you could really pick from anything and then base your outfit off of that all right so this particular video i was thinking of styling this graphic tee right here but then i realized that how i want to style it i'm actually missing a piece so i'm actually not going to do this one and instead i'm going to go ahead and go with my pikachu graphic tee because i really 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 like this one and i think it is like really playful and really different it has a lot of different colors you see it has like red if you're really paying attention you can see some orange here some purple and of course the yellow and if you're bad you see the blue on the bottom and you can try to pull that out as well so like i'm saying the pikachu is our graphic tee base and we're going to pull colors from this and try to get an outfit out of this now our second step is to figure out what our base is going to be as i'm talking to you guys of course you can see on the screen how we're bringing out the outfit and how the colors complement each other right so the second thing to figure out is what is going to be our bottoms do you want to do a skirt do you want to do some jeans do you want to do cargos do you want to do a straight leg right you have to ask yourself what are you trying to achieve when you are styling something for the street how street do you really want it to look how urban are you trying to get with your outfit right so i'm going to show you uh, like some different types of pants and you know bottoms that i will style with this and then we're ultimately going to pick one all right so now that we have the shirt let me show you our different bottoms that we could put on for this outfit right so for me right now i am loving like a good graphic tee and some cargos and i have different pairs of cargos here to show you that different cargos will definitely bring out a different look with each like as you have the top on the cargos will bring out a different look everything is not going to look the same because of course it's how you style it right all right so like i said the first thing that we have is a pair of black cargos you can just do a black on black um again it's absolutely fine a black on black no reason you know to like change it up or anything but it is pretty basic right for this if you're trying to stand out this black cargos are not going to let you stand out no matter how many different colors you might want to put in it like it's still a black top with a black pair of pants right so is it my first choice no but if i need to throw on an outfit to go to like a quick little rager and i don't have anything else i will put on these black pair of cargos but again not my first choice 
Okay, so I know a lot of us, when we decide that we want to wear like an outfit, especially with a graphic tee, that we tend to go to our jeans, right? So I have some denim jeans here and I cut the back out, right? So if you plan on wearing anything denim, especially like a light denim, I would suggest you put some distress into it. You put some type of hole in it. You make sure there's holes in it. Even mine right here have like a lot of holes in them because that's the way I like my jeans. And like I said, I am a very street girl forward person. So I do like my street girl looks and I do like my looks to look like I was in the street. I was playing in the street, right? I was rough housing or whatever. So when you look at a look like this, yes, you can see that you got the black, and you got a little color but this gives you a different type of look these are straight leg pants these are not cargos so it will fit a little more you know relax to the body it will fit you uh very tight versus the cargos that are very loose and sometimes i think cargos because they're so loose they give you like that baggy effect and that effect of this fits but doesn't really fit whereas this gives you a look of it fits and if it's well so denim as you can see i got the denim with the shirt on the screen you let me know how you feel about it like i said this will be my go-to if i'm trying to really achieve a streetwear look this is kind of plain this is kind of uh, i don't want to say it's not an aesthetic to me right it's just pretty much it but to me it feels like i'm putting on a shirt putting on my jeans and i'm out the door again not my first go-to really not my second but if i had nothing else to wear you have this, but you can still make it work. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it don't work. I'm just saying you can still make it work. But we're trying to elevate your streetwear look. We're not trying to keep you on the bottom with everybody else. We're trying to make sure when you step out, they know what you got on. All right, so as you know, these were coming, right? If you don't know my wardrobe, you know I own these. And I have used this like three or four times now. And because they just work. They just freaking work work so let me open the pants for you guys as you can tell these are my blue and yellow pair of cargos they freaking work as you can see we have this mustard yellow to the yellow that is in the shirt it is not the same yellow but a lot of times that is okay it do not need to be the same yellow at all especially if you have your accessories that can tie in either your blue or your yellow to the shirt then everything don't need to be so matchy matchy right so i got these big cargos right here you already know i get them from fashion over and again it definitely does work with what we got going on and also as i told you about that blue in the corner right here in case you forgot there are blue in the jeans so again it definitely does work so this is really stepping out of the box this is really like just trying to get you to be out there and trying to get you to do different things when it comes to like your streetwear looks right the the way the denim is not necessarily distressed but you know washed out on these cargos really gives it that effect of streetwear right and that's exactly what we're looking for a lot of the times when we wear our our jeans our denim or whatever they just like they just look really regular right but you want something that's different and this is it so as you can see here and as you can see on your screen what this shirt and what the denims look like like on and i think it looks <laughs> really good like for me i like my things to be bright but also mute it at the same time when it comes to styling anything uh streetwear because a part of the times for me like uh when i think of streetwear i do think of it as to be like a very uh muted kind of thing but because i like to put my own style on it and my own you know personality to it i do like to do pops of color with my streetwear look so that's why we have this all right so the next piece that i'm showing you with this shirt are my purple pair of cargos now 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 hold on so my cargos right here i want to show you that they're purple and they also have hints of blue in them as well and as you can see in the shirt purple with hints of blue on the bottom as well right but in this case we are using it to style the purple in the shirt now as you know this purple and this purple do not match but it is still purple and like i said when i was talking about the other pair of cargos you can use your accessories to bring out the purple in the shirt and especially your accessories to bring out the purple in the cargos there's nothing wrong with trying new things right so with this purple right here 
I really like it because it is really different, right? And it's not prominent to what you see like face value right now. So at face value, when you look at this shirt, you see yellow, you see red, right? You might see a little bit of orange when you look at this shirt at face value. But when you really study it some more, you can see the purple, you're paying attention to that, right? You can see like the little red, you're paying attention to that. You can see the blue when you pay attention to the shirt. When you use a color that contrasts with what the shirt is and like probably the least color that you see on the shirt, when you use that as like your bottoms or maybe your shoes or your accessories, you're working to bring it out of the shirt, thus letting people understand that this is in the shirt and this is what you decided to bring out rather than bringing out the red or rather than bringing out the yellow or the orange or whatever else other color in the shirt, you decided to bring out the little purple details in the shirt and that is gonna really elevate your streetwear look. All right, so I didn't want to do like a whole she wear look just on uh, pants and I wanted to do something that was on a skirt. I decided to take this anime-esque skirt right here and just pair it with this just to see what I get out of it. I'm not going to say it's my favorite, but I think it does work. Um, It's a bit busy and that's why I'm kind of like, eh. but busy is not always bad and let me tell you why busy is not always bad because sometimes especially like a new yorker like myself when you have an outfit as busy as it could be it could work you know what i'm saying like your outfits are allowed to be busy but still make sense with some cohesion okay so that's why i really like this and i know that you know pokemon is really anime and also like my skirt is anime so i'm tying into the theme of it being anime and then to top that off like the skirt is yellow and black the shirt is yellow and black so like you really can't go wrong the thing with having a short mini skirt like this and a big shirt like this knowing how to tie up the shirt so that it goes well with the skirt what you don't want is an oversized shirt and then you have a mini skirt and then you can't really see the skirt so it makes it look like you don't have a skirt on at all right so what i like to do is take my shirt tie it up in the back put a little knot and then now my shirt is cinched into my waist and it makes a lot of sense because now you can see the skirt now you can appreciate the shirt and now you can appreciate every other accessories that i have going on with this outfit all right so next we're going to talk about shoes and accessories for this outfit so as you can see for a majority of my outfits i will be using my jordan flight sneakers it just makes sense to use these because it is like a black white and red theme going on and of course you have black red and a little bit of white here i won't say it counts i don't think i'll see this as white but again, it still flows really well with every single outfit that I've shown you. With my jeans, with my cargoes, like it's gonna pretty much go with everything that you see. So I will go ahead and throw on some sneakers if you're really trying to get that streetwear look. And then with the skirt, what I would do is go ahead with my red boots. The red toe boots, as you can see on the side of your screen, just to bring out the red in the shirt if i really want to be out there i'm gonna use the boots to be out there right now if you decide that you actually want to wear boots i would go ahead and throw on a skirt um instead of any of the like jeans that i showed you and even that skirt i showed you like so if you wanted to put on a purple skirt if you wanted to put on like a black skirt if you want to put on a white skirt i would go ahead and throw on any of those colors but i would also use red boots or probably use purple boots just to switch it up and not be predictable when it comes to an outfit right when it comes to styling like some boots and a skirt and then it's like oh i'm gonna put on a black pair of boots because the shirt is black or i'm gonna put on a yellow pair of boots because the majority of the shirt is yellow like nah like really put on something different like really go ahead and like put that red put that orange like throw that purple in there like really do that if you're really trying to hit the pavement and show like your style and your creativity like bring out the colors that are not normally seen when wearing an outfit so last is all about accessories now for me i do like to style silver with my streetwear looks i just think it give it like that bit of an edge it looks a bit like grungy sometimes when i wear silver but however because i have like a lot of yellow in this shirt i'm actually not gonna do silver because i don't want the silver and the yellow to clash so i'm gonna do everything gold so i have gold earrings gold necklaces gold watches bangles whatever you may call it everything is gold 
And then for my accessories, when it comes to like uh, purses and sunglasses or whatever, I am gonna go with my little Steve Madden red purse right here. And then I'm also gonna go in with some red sunglasses right here just to tie everything together. And I hope you like all of the looks that I've shown you and different ways where you can style like just a graphic tee and you know, how to make your streetwear look pop. Cause I know sometimes like people just think I'm gonna put on a graphic tee and put on some sneakers and it's like, no, it's more than that. Like it's more than just a graphic tee and some sneakers. Like you really have to make it shine, you know? So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if this was a good video or not. Let me know if this was like popping or not. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.